Well, guess who's back? Yep, it's our little table lamp. You know, um, I had a request to um, to do a teardown of this, although that's not what I'm going to do today. Today, we're going to try to get a little bit of uh, finish back on this old lamp, and we're going to start by removing this. So, there's a lot of people out there when they get a uh, an old item such as this that say, well, what do I do with this? Do I repaint it? Generally, the answer is no. <laughs> um, but then, of course, what if you have rust or what if you have something else that's showing up that's it's not looking very good? And, and what do you do and how do you try to preserve it so it lasts longer, right? Because maybe it's in a, in a state where it doesn't look so great and, um, and you want to have it look good over a period of time. And, uh, and continue to be useful and serviceable. And, but you don't want to get rid of the patina, right? So this thing's got some patina on it. It's also got some uh, bird mess on it too, but we'll clean that up. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it does have some patina that we don't necessarily want to remove because obviously this is not a brand new lamp. Uh, it's been around for a while, so we want to have something that looks like it's been around for a while, but uh, also that's not going to continue to look worse. So. What you do <laughs> is, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, what, what I'm going to do here is that we're going to treat this with some linseed oil. And um, I watch another channel, and it's called uh, uh, Vice Grip Garage. This guy, Derek, uh, is a... Uh, <laughs> He's hilarious, uh, very entertaining to watch, and a total gearhead, and, uh, but also has some really cool ideas on things. And uh, what he's been doing lately is he's, he's got a, a rat rod kind of looking, at, and it's, uh, I believe it's called Lawsuit is he's, what he's named it. But anyway, so, uh, you know, the, the, the color of the, the truck is like about, you know, 16 billion different colors. And he didn't want to put a new paint job on it, but he wanted to kind of preserve it. But he also didn't want to have the thing rust further. So he uh, talks about what is uh, called his magic shine juice. And uh, so I'm like, wow, what's this? So this sounds like exactly the kind of problem that I'm having. And so it turns out that the magic shine, shine juice is uh, linseed oil mineral spirits and a squirt of WD-40. So um, I'm gonna probably forego the WD-40 because number one, I don't have any and I didn't really wanna buy a bottle just for a squirt. So we're gonna see where, what, we, uh, what we end up with. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do though is that we're gonna try to clean this up a little bit because like I said, there's a little bit of, of uh, bird mess on it. Looks like a bird had perched here and then, and so we're gonna go ahead and clean that off. I just need to get a, towel here real quick and then uh, we'll use a little bit of the fluid out of the ultrasonic cleaner which has got uh, simple green in it which should uh, take that right off so uh, basically on, on any of these kind of things what you want to do is that you just want to kind of give it a uh, a light cleaning and uh, i'm going to just kind of wipe this down a bit just to get the dust and uh, and whatever else that's on it you know, it doesn't need to be super duper clean, right? But probably should just at least try to remove the surface dust and, and stuff like that. So, um, and also I've got tons of mosquitoes in the shop, which is why the, uh, <laughs> this is why the, the shop door is closed. So I probably might be taking a break to get a couple of these every so often, but hopefully I won't get chewed up too much from these. But um, anyway, so that's kind of pretty much about as much effort as I want to put into this. And uh, and then from here we're gonna we're gonna mix up the uh, the so-called shine juice. Um, what I'm gonna do is that uh, I've got I've got the boiled linseed oil here, which you just go ahead and get at uh, your local uh, hardware store, and uh, then I've got odorless mineral spirits. So uh, what he does is that he cuts the the uh, the linseed oil uh, with the mineral spirits. So he uh, puts about twice as much mineral spirits as he puts in linseed oil, which then also kind of helps it uh, evaporate off and all this other kind of stuff. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm not going to make up a whole bunch of this because I'm going to eventually, uh, <laughs> these mosquitoes are just going to, they're going to eat me alive in here. Anyway, so um, we're just going to only make about uh, about 60 mils worth of this stuff because that means that the remains will fit nicely into a uh, into a, a bottle that I've got. So um, 
here is uh, you're going to measure out 20 mils of this. That looks pretty good. And uh, and then we're going to put uh, 40 mils of mineral spirits. So that means taking this up to 60 because 40 plus 20 is 60. Huh, that had no seal on it. I wonder if I got an open container. Hmm. All right, well, it's okay. It looks like there was mostly, mostly full. So that makes 60 mils of the uh, magic shine juice. Now, what uh, Derek mentioned with the uh, addition of the mineral spirits as a carrier in there, um, it, uh, it kind of makes it a little less shiny. Um, his addition of the WD-40, he said, was supposed to add some of that shine back. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is that I'm just going to mix this with, I don't know, something random, this piece of wire, I guess. I don't know how good that'll mix. Yeah, it's doing all right. So we just want to get that evenly mixed and it kind of looks like a, uh, a sample. Ha! So, uh, that doesn't smell too terribly offensive. So what I'm going to apply it with is that I'm going to actually pour this out here into this little ashtray. Ashtrays are like, these glass ashtrays are really, really great for uh, these kind of things. And then I'm going to use a, a little bit of cardboard here so I don't uh, muck up my desk, right? So, um, yeah, someone else uh, commented on the desk. Um, this desk has been in our family for a very long time. Uh, well, <laughs> since before I was born. This is actually a, uh, a military surplus Navy desk that my dad picked up. And uh, it started off life out in Chicago, where I'm actually from, and uh, has followed us uh, all over the place and has now ended up in my shop here, which I will be keeping forever. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool desk. This is all original, so it's, uh, yeah, the, the, the linoleum top on it's kind of stretched and peeling and it's on a move here so it's uh yeah but it's got lots of character and i like it and it's uh it's really pretty nice so we're gonna just dump the pressure off of this so i can get this open i probably should have tried to clean around this just a little bit better so we'll do that real quick but um we're gonna apply this stuff here with a uh, with a foam brush i like foam brushes because they don't leave any um they don't leave any uh, bristles behind. They generally don't give you any kind of uh, um, imperfections or anything like that. Boy, that is just really drinking that up. So that's the other thing too, is that you can kind of, you know, you want to you want to put a thin coat on here, um, but it's great for the metal. It's great for the wood, everything. But I'm putting it on the on the wood, and it's going in like absolutely like water. I mean, it's just completely soaking it in. It's just now starting to build up a little bit, but that's great because um, we'll start to, um, yeah, you really get to see <laughs> how this works. I'm gonna take you guys down here so you can see this. So um, yeah, watch watch when we get on the, there's some open wood here. It's it's wet for just like a second, right? I mean, it's it's amazing how much I'm putting on there and it's still drinking it in. So anyway, we're going to do this here for a bit till uh, it starts to actually build up a little bit of a finish on there. And this will also protect the wood. Let's set you guys back up here. Hopefully it didn't make anyone too dizzy doing that. But um, yeah, so we're going to keep, keep doing this. And uh, yeah, this will waterproof the wood. It also takes, takes some time for it to, for it to dry. Um, well, there's a lot more in that brush than I thought. Anyway, so as it, uh, as it fills the wood there, it will actually start to get a shine on there and, um, and start to, uh, provide it some, some waterproof, uh, properties. The, uh, once it cures, so the difference between regular and boiled linseed oil is that I've, I've read that boiled linseed oil isn't necessarily boiled. It's, uh, it's just chemically treated. And, uh, so that way it dries faster. 
If you use regular linseed oil, it can take up to a month to dry. So you may not want to use regular linseed oil because uh, unless you've got a lot of time on your hands. So um, yeah, we're starting to get it so it, it actually uh, takes, it doesn't drink it in immediately, so that's good. I kind of keep dabbing away at this here. But um, yeah, so this is just a really neat thing because it's like, it lays down super nice. Um, it's really easy to apply. Obviously for, for metal, you just need pretty much one coat to get it uh, to do what you want it to do. And uh, let's turn this around here a bit, try not to wreck the mantles while I'm at it. Um, but yeah, so you get, you get some shine back, but you also preserve the, um, the patina and it keeps the patina from getting worse it just kind of puts the brakes on everything and then you'll end up with a uh, a nice shine on it and uh with the patina intact and so i'm going to continue to um put this on here because we want to get this <coughs> excuse me want to get this wood really nice and soaked <coughs> pardon man it's still hot here, by the way. Um, it was past couple of days, it had cooled and dried off. And then the uh, humidity and heat has come back with a vengeance. So uh, we're right back in the middle of uh, being hot and steamy here in Texas. Although they tell me that again next week, uh, sometime, probably Saturday, that uh, we'll have a cold front come through and it'll get cool and nice again. And then everything will be great. So, um, this is really pretty much all you really have to do. Um, the shine that you're seeing on here is probably going to be pretty close to uh, what we end up with. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to look shiny, uh, but it's still going to have that patina on there. And then the nice thing about it is that sometimes when you have, um, when you have spray jobs, uh, you know, you, you rattle can spray it, right? You'll spray it and you'll still, you'll get some orange peel or something like that and it won't look all that great. And uh, so what goes on is that uh, this just lays down super nice, go away mosquito, and, uh, and looks really good. And so that is kind of, that's the, that's the video and, and the trick for, for the day. Uh, what we'll probably end up doing here is that I'll put some stills on at the end of this, or actually, we're gonna do some great editing here. And we're gonna say, all right, ready, set, okay, still number one. I gotta figure out what that picture is, but uh, anyway, this is the way that it looks after it's dried. And um, so we'll just kind of uh, do that. Maybe we'll pop another picture in there from a different angle, like that. And then maybe we'll put a, a picture in there trying to get the, uh, this wood handle and how it looks now like that and then there you go so um that'll be pretty much it so really simple really easy you you can see that um it does not take very much to do this i mean i made up 60 mils of this stuff i think i might have poured out about maybe five into this ashtray and i was able to do this entire thing here uh several coats over and and it's totally fine and you know that was basically almost nothing out of this bottle here so buy the small bottle don't get the big one and uh, you'll probably have a a lifetime supply of uh, magic shine juice so uh yeah there you go, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something here, and uh, until next time, keep them lit.